Thank you for joining us today. In today's video, you will learn how to submit your employee vendor file web form request. The employee vendor file web form is a feature within our self-service portal that will modernize the existing paper fax vendorizing process for employee data with a digital version of the VA10091 form. Employee vendor data is typically used for travel reimbursements, settlement disbursements, and other employee payments. The web form is tailored for employees and will allow near real-time updating of vendor data, improved data integrity, and cost effectiveness. Now let's jump in and show you the site. The self-service portal is PIV enabled, which means you will not have a username or password. If you're logged into your computer with your PIV card, the self-service portal will read your PIV credentials and let you into the site. The site will display an authorized use only agreement, select that you agree to the terms and then click on agree to proceed. The employee vendor web form is located in the forms tile. As we continue to grow and modernize additional forms, they will be made available within this forms dashboard. Let's proceed by clicking the blue employee vendorizing form link. We begin on the requester information page to capture your name, social security number, and station number. The request type is required. Select new if you do not have an existing employee vendor code or select update if you are updating your current vendor profile. Click next to proceed to the employee and bank information page. On the left hand side of this page, you will input your personal contact information, including your first name, last name, address to include the city, state, and zip, your email address, and your phone number. You will also answer the question, is this for a travel request? If you are submitting a request for upcoming travel, select the yes radio dial and the calendar option to provide your travel date. If you look at the screen, you um, will notice that I have filled out all the employee information on the left hand of the page, starting with my first name all the way down to the travel date. On the right hand side of the page, you will input your bank information. Your bank information will include the account number, your nine digit bank routing number, if the routing number is invalid, the system will display an error message. Please ensure that you are using the routing number at the bottom of your checks. You're also going to include the bank name, the bank account type. You're going to choose whether it is a checking or a savings. The bank city, state, and zip are available as optional fields. I have now updated the information under um, the bank information on the right hand side. In the middle of the screen, you will notice the requester's notes section. Within the requester's notes area, you will input any pertinent details about your request. If you have any attachments that you would like to include, use the attachment button to upload them. Once you are ready to submit and all required fields have been provided, click on the Create button to submit your request.
The page will then display a confirmation message informing you that your request has been routed appropriately. On this page, you will notice that your request has been assigned a case number. You will also see the status of your case and the system generated gold deadline. Within minutes, you will receive an email confirmation regarding your submission. To find the status of a submitted case, Click on the Cases section um, tab located in your left navigation pane. The Cases section displays your cases in four categorized subtabs. We have Recent, Active, Resolved, and Followed Cases. Your recent cases display a list of recently submitted requests. Your My Active Cases open, I mean, your My Active Cases display any open and pending requests. And your My Resolve Cases display resolve requests. Your My Follow Cases tab display requests where you have been added as a follower. For example, your coworker will be out of the office and you have been tasked to follow the request. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the forms dashboard. If you would like to save the self-service portal as your favorite, um, please ensure that you are saving only the URL. The extra characters at the end may cause issues accessing the site in the future. You also want to be mindful that when you are logging out of the portal that you actually use the logout button. If you do not use the logout button and you try to exit by just clicking on the X to the right of the screen, you may experience trouble when trying to log back into the portal. Well, that concludes uh, today's video. Thank you for joining us. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, please feel free to contact us at the Enterprise Support Help Desk. Our phone number is 866-372-1141. Thank you and have a wonderful day.